What's up guys, Where's Barry here, and in today's video we're going to show you the puzzle solution to the escape room in House Beneviento. If you don't want to see any spoilers, you better leave now. Don't be a stupid idiot. STUPID IDIOT! Because we hate videos where people talk and talk and talk, on the screen right now, we're giving you the entire puzzle solution. So you can pause it or just go through this part real quick. But don't worry, if you want to see the full walkthrough, we're going to go through the entire thing afterwards. And if you appreciate that upfrontness, give this channel a subscribe and come back and check out our other walkthrough puzzle solution videos. Our walkthrough begins in the basement of House Beneviento, down the elevator, and in these double doors where you meet the doll. I've been waiting for so long. When the Where's lights come back on, you see a wooden dummy of Mia on an operating table, and she's divided into different parts, so let's take a look at each one. There are three items we're going to pull out of the dummy. We just do it first to get it out of the way so we have them in our inventory. Let's start at the left leg, pop that bad boy off, and inside you'll find the winding key. Next up, let's go to the left hand and pull this bloody wedding ring off of the finger. Next up is the right shoulder, whip that out, and you get the silver key. There are also two puzzle clues inside, so if you want to remember these symbols, you'll use them later. And for now, we're going to leave the mouth and the chest alone. Now that we have the silver key, we can open the door that's in the dissecting room that leads us into this other room. Go over to the sink, and right here, we're going to turn on the faucet and then use the ring, which is going to clean off the ring. Now we're going to go back into the dissecting room, look at the doorway where you came in that has a padlock on it, and now open up the ring in the inventory system and you'll find the password. Now enter it into the padlock and you're free of the main room. Now head back towards the elevator and as you are going there, a new door that was locked before will pop open. You want to go inside this door, go around the corner, and look for the music box. Why is this here? Use the winding key to open up the panel, and now you've got a five-part puzzle. This puzzle is annoying because you have to line up these little scratches, and it just they're really small. It gets confusing, but we broke it down into numbers so you can complete it every time. Start by taking the third slot and moving it to the fifth slot. Now again, take the third slot, now move that to the fourth slot. Now again the third slot and move it to the second slot. And, you guessed it, take the third slot again and move it to the first slot. Now think about how easy that is. It goes 3 to 5, 3 to 4, 3 to 2, and 3 to 1. So that is how you can remember it easily every single time. Now click play, the music box will play Ethan and Mia's wedding song, and the tweezers will pop out. Now that we have the tweezers, we want to go back into the dissection room. And in that room, we're now going to look in Mia's mouth. And inside there, we're going to see a film strip, we're going to use the tweezers, and we're going to pop that right out. Now we're going to head back to the elevator, and we want to go in the room on the right, let's call that the film room. In here, you'll see a projector, and next to that is a note. That gives you the solution to the puzzle. Pretty simple. Now click on the hanging film strips, insert the film strip, and now we can rearrange them in the correct order. And that is monkey, book, baby, box, ring. Click play, and it will play a ring-like video showing you a hidden well. When the movie is over, the projector will fall off the wall, and that reveals a new section, a little doll closet. Creepy. In here, to the right side, you'll see a doll holding scissors. Now, you could go back the way you came, but we're going to duck down here, and then we're going to use the scissors to cut through this medical tape and take us to a new section of the house. If you don't do this, you're going to miss this phone call from Mia. Now continue down the hall. You'll pass a door on the left, but avoid that. We're going to open that later. Go to the end. There's a white door. Unlock it, and you'll be back in the room with the sink. 
Now follow Mia's ghost back into the dissection room, go over to Mia on the table, and now we're gonna examine her chest. Don't go there, bro. Pull out the scissors, now cut through the medical tape there, and that's gonna expose her wood. So remove that, and inside you'll find this door piece that we're gonna use to solve this next puzzle which is in the room, there is a little hallway. So go down there. Remember when we examined Mia earlier, we found two symbols? Well, here's where we use them. On the bottom one here, remember it was three eyes closed. On the top left one, it was the flying bird facing the right. And now we can insert our little medallion piece into the door and that will unlock it. That's gonna take us into this long stairway leading down. It's gonna take us into a well. We're gonna climb down the ladder in the well. Hey, someone threw our Mia dummy down here. She cracked open and now she's holding a key. This is the fuse key. We're gonna use it by the elevator. So climb back up out of the well. A whole bunch of scariness is going on around you and backtrack to the dissection room and then out and down the hall and try to get to the elevator. But uh-oh, look on the ground, some blood, and is that an umbilical cord? It is, and right before you get to the elevator, oh my gosh, you better turn around and run. A couple different things you can do here. Both of them require you to run back to the dissection room and then go in the silver key door. Now in here, you can outlast it, and that means you can go into the back corner and hide in this cabinet. But then you gotta wait around for like a minute and it's super boring for the thing to come in and then to leave. Instead, we're going to go through the white door and not hide in that closet. And that's gonna take us back all the way to the doll room in the back of the film room. And that means we've successfully went around the bad guy and can go to the box next to the elevator, click it, use the key, open it up, and you find the child relief. Now we're gonna run back the regular way to the dissection room. And because we went in a big circle, the bad guy should disappear. Now if he is still around or you run into him again, remember you can always hide in that closet and you can always loop around the other way. So back through the dissection room, through the silver key door, through the white door, and now that door on the right, we can go to it since we have the item we need. Put the relief in the door and it will open. And now we can go down into this white door here. You go through this room and around the corner into a bedroom. In the back of the bedroom, in the corner, you're going to see a fuse. So pick that up. Taking the fuse turns out the lights. So just kind of use your flashlight and feel your way back. We're going to try to head back to the elevator because this fuse goes in the box near the elevator and that starts it. So as we head back, guess who reappears? It's Morpheus, the baby monster. So turn around here and run back all the way to the bedroom so that you can avoid him. And you probably notice there's a cabinet in the back of the room like you did before, but you don't want to do that because I think then you'll get stuck in that corner. Instead, what you can do is you can go over to the bed and climb under that. This is going to be the fastest way to do it because when the guy comes in the room and he starts over to the right of you, you can then just slide out the back and run away. Head back to the elevator in the beginning. It's pretty self-explanatory how to get there. Just follow the way you came. And when you get there, you need to put the fuse in the box. This will call the elevator. But oh no, the bad guy is now back. On standard, you don't even have to move. The elevator will come. You can slide in right at the last minute. But if he's quicker on harder difficulties, we want to run into the film room, use that table in the center, make him chase us around in a circle so that we can slide out the back. Now you do have to hit the X button on the elevator door, and that will open the door for you. So just slide right in, hit the button, and that will be your escape from the escape room. Hopefully this guide helped you to solve the puzzle. I got stuck here for about 30 minutes the first time I played. Wanted to get it out as quick as possible for those who are stuck. Make sure you click subscribe because we're going to do a bunch of videos like this on different puzzles, where to find the goats, all sorts of different things. And click on that like button and leave a comment if this video helped you and if you want to see more.